You're listening to The Freak Zone with me, Stuart McConey. Arca is a trans musician and performance artist, originally from Venezuela, but after several years in the US, now lives in Barcelona. On her new album, Kick One, she kind of reconnects with her Latin American heritage and brings in collaborators like Björk, Rosalia, Shy Girl and Sophie. Well, we caught up with Arca down the line from home to find out more. Between a self-titled record and Kick One, there's been multiple instances of what I like to affectionately dub skin sheds. There was a part of me that wanted to make itself known to others in an explicit way, despite that journey and that process requiring a considerable amount of bravery, and I wanted to think things through. I don't really sit down knowing when an album is starting or, or ending. I just kind of make music and I never stop. Things that I was thinking about, however, rebirth, change, faith, love, transhumanism, robotics, cyborg entities, disagreeing with human creators and what happens in the, in the face of that disagreement. Do we just subjugate the AI because it doesn't want to do what we want? or do we try and listen and understand it? I think about speculative fiction and I think about science often. For me, Non-Binary is a special song. I mean, any, any song that I open a record with, I give considerable care. I do what I wanna do when I wanna do it. I check out the bags to prove it. Hips to move it around and make shapes, yes. Trim the waist off and the waist down, girl, it slipped off. As French tips wrapped It was for it to be a rallying cry, to excite and impassion in the face of oppressive binaries. I mean, I'm not saying to forego binaries altogether. I'm saying when it's useful to think in binary terms, do so. But when it's not useful, it can be oppressive. So kick against that, you know, question things. Who do you think you're dealing with? No. You're not in the last four years of working on this record, I may have inadvertently found a way to undo a split about trying to keep my solo work completely solo and trying to keep my collaborative work to be for others. And I was just thinking, rather than producing for others, producing solely for myself and trying to be hermetically sealed and fully self-sufficient, what surprising results could a record of mine surprise me with if I made space for contributions that I wouldn't have been able to even think of. All of them were collaborations that happened from afar, but after like having chemistry in person, you know, having good vibe on a personal level and like a hangout level, I think that was an important thing. Each collaboration was also very different. In the case of Sophie, there was a song that was very high energy, you know, and very kind of like fiery. You know, when in the case of Björk, like just sending her multiple things and having her choose what she felt excited by. Um, same with Rosalia. The less I kind of had an idea in mind for what was going to come, the more I would be surprised by what each guest musician was going to send back. And that's what I was craving and looking for, you know, like an element of not being in control, but rather making space for the unexpected to occur and for that to surprise myself and the collaborators and kind of chasing that, chasing it down like a rabbit hole of something that we couldn't have done on our own. When the pandemic started hitting hard and everything got frozen, Excel was like, do you want to 
want to do this? And I was like, yes, let's take this risk because I just felt like reckoning and crisis could coexist with celebration and joy and a rallying cry. Now is the time to be as generous as possible. Now is the time for full motion picture sci-fi fantasy, a place to go to that you can come back from and feel recharged or feel like you can see things differently. That was Rikiki from Kick One, the new album by Arca, released on Friday, and you will be hearing more from that album on the Six Music playlist during the week. 